Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rajat and today we are going to talk about two very important topic. Weight of evidence, which I have already covered, but I'll give you a significance why we are using it and what is the concurrent effect of weight of evidence on the new topic that is IV, information value. In a model, IV is a very important term, weight of evidence I have already explained it to you. Now this is a subsequent term which is being used. So as the name also says, information value. So every variable who's there, like for example, only independent variable, variable I'm talking about. So in an independent variable, what is the prediction power? What is the information value? So that means any particular variable, how much information it is able to give you. And obviously there is a measure for that. So obviously there are some brackets, interval, everything we are going to cover. So let me take you forward without wasting any time. So guys, let me quickly give you a recap. What was the weight of evidence? I have already explained it in the previous video. So forget this table for a minute. So the short form is weight of evidence, W O E. Okay. So this means to what extent an independent independent means the variables which are not the predicted one which you already have okay so to what extent an independent variable would predict a dependent variable now what is dependent variable your default prediction your default flag or we can call it the target variable also which we are going to eventually propose or the answer would be yes or no like for example what is a dependent variable this is the example default underscore flag so this will either show yes or no. Either it will show good or bad. What does this mean? A customer can be either default or non-default. Similarly, a customer can be either good or bad. That, that's what the weight of evidence was, which I have already explained in the previous video. Now, just understand, okay? So let's say before making you understand this table, try to understand a graph. So on this graph, I have, let's say a uh, salary range. So salary, let's say starts from 10,000 rupees, then 20,000, then 50,000, then 100,000. This is time. So over period of time. Now the variable is salary. So you want to understand the weight of evidence of salary variable. So what you will do, you will create some bins like 10 to 20 is one bin. 20 to 50 is one bin, 50 to 100. That's what I already explained. That will be a categorical variable. So you are giving so many categories to it, okay? To make it simplified. That's what I have already explained you. And the concept of fine classing, coarse classing also should be clear to you. Just before this video, we have covered it, okay? That should be helpful. Now, if you understand, out of total customer, now come to the table. So you have a good customer then you have bad customer then you have proportion of good then weight of evidence how you are calculating that let's say 4000 is your good customer then 12000 again is your good customer okay there is a catch here there is very important significant here we are talking about salary so this is the salary variable now these 4000 are high salary employees let's say high and this 12,000 is low. So this is L O W salary, then good or bad, then high and low. So good, good people who with high salary, 4,000 good people with low salary, 12,000 good customer with high, uh, sorry, bad customer with high salary, 600 and then 3,400. Then proportion of good, you calculate the percentage, which is 25%, then 75%. And we are keeping a total row. So this is the total. Here we are calculating the total. I hope this is clear to you as of now. Now, very important thing you should notice here is how you calculate, calculate the weight of evidence. I already told you it is the log. We calculate the log. Now, what is log? Okay, you should understand it. Let me tell you one more time. So I'll give you a formula. 
yeah i think this is the right place weight of evidence i already said it is logarithmic we have to calculate the log of good versus bad so when you calculate this so you will get the value of for higher salary bracket this will come 0.51 51 for lower it will come minus 0.21 because you are dividing good proportion by bad proportion okay so this is proportion this is your equation number 1 so as of now this is clear now let's go to the main topic which is today we are targeting but this is important uh, you guys should understand this then only you will be able to understand the use of the next topic which is the main topic that is information information value these are very important topics in model area whenever you go to any interview these are the questions which they are going to ask 110% so make sure you know all of this okay now what is weight of uh, evidence you all know now let's move on to what is information value so the simple definition how much information value the original independent variable brings with respect to with respect to dependent variable or target variable whatever you can call it it's your choice so how much information value the original independent variable brings to the table with respect to the dependent variable now what was the independent variable let's say again example salary or type of home they have it's a rented home or it's a own home or it can be their education okay purpose of loan these are all independent variable now what is dependent variable whether the person will default or not so we we call it default flag now you know okay this is pretty much clear graph i already explained it to you for the salary now there is a small trick in this graph so it's a salary this talks about time here we have salary s stands for salary t stands for time then 20 then 50 then let's say 100 as of now this was the bin now you want to create a new bin that can also be possible depending on the type of salary depending on the type of variable let's say this we are talking about salary now i want to talk about uh, education some are 10th uh, 10th pass some are 12th pass some are uh, maybe bachelor some are master so there can be so many brackets now you should understand when you are calculating the information value the most important thing is how much predict uh, prediction power this will provide to us this will give us the final list of variables which are actually used to calculate the dependent variable which is your default flag so out of uh, when i started the, this uh, series i told you maybe we'll start at a very initial stage one with more than 100 150 variable eventually you will come down to 20 to 15 15 to 20 variable maximum after checking weight of evidence information value everything you will come down to this particular level okay now there is one more important thing so the target for today is information value only and weight of evidence is a supplementary thing with that okay now in information value one more point you should remember iv which is information value is most important variable to check whether you have you are choosing the best independent variable or not iv is best measure to select correct independent variable that's how i will prefer this 
although it's not the best method but you should know this is a very good method to calculate now for information value supplementary obviously there are some calculations which you can do and then i'll make you understand but before that let me give you a right value of information value in terms of table so when you create the information value table that what is the prediction power of the uh, particular variable how you'll understand that so let's say i give a range and then the power so two column are there in range we will give some range which is very much common so i iv value is it always have a value between 0 to 1 information value always falls between 0 to 1 now if it's less than 0 0.2 then you'll call it zero prediction power or you can call no prediction power no pp it can be less than if it's less than 0 0.1 or you can call it this way if it's greater than 0 0.2 and equal to equal to greater than will always come here then it has a weak prediction power if it's less than 0 0.3 then it is a medium prediction power variable okay i hope this is clear to you we are talking about individual variable here now if it is less than 0 0.5 so we can call it strong prediction power and if it is greater than that like iv is greater than 0 0.5 that means suspicious what does that mean this case is too good to be true so this is on the basic level okay now try to understand uh, the table how to calculate the information value this is going to be very important be focused on the same table let's go back to this table where we calculated weight of evidence okay now let me remove all this okay okay i think i should remove only this part because i need to add the few columns let's let's do it okay let me remove this and this i think yeah this is good now in addition to this only what we have calculated okay so you'll add on some more columns we after weight of evidence so what we will calculate percentage of good minus percentage of bad this is one after that you will calculate the information value now what is the formula for information value so percentage of good you will calculate percentage of bad also you calculate okay now what was the answer of that i'll directly write 0 0.1 was a percentage and then again this was 0 0.1 okay now information value how you are calculating the information value that's very important to understand so for that you simply need to multiply this uh you will multiply this with this okay so here you will write the output that is the total value of your weight of evidence multiply uh, by the percentage of good minus percentage of bad is equal to your information value that's how you define this in your code so you can write this in python very easily not a very big challenge i'll, I'll show you to you in upcoming videos and uh, this is going to be hardly four or five line of code okay so that's not a challenge now what is the value coming here 0 0.0511 will be your value and similarly 0 0.0125 something this will be the value now when you take a total of this that total is going to be the information value of your salary column now according to this we just calculated it for salary similarly you calculate it for three four more variable let's say three four five whatever number of variable you have calculate for them and on the basis of that grid which i told you down this one basis on this one so whoever will fall under this category these two category either medium or strong prediction power so those are the variables which you will be keeping in your model other than that you will eliminate all the unnecessary variables 
on that note i will wrap up this video i hope you like the video if you like the video please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel do comment in this video ask your doubts and let's start some discussion and uh, obviously i reply to all the comments so please put your comment and support me in this video we'll meet you in the upcoming video with split how we split the data that is going to be very interesting so i'll see you in the next video thank you so much all the best guys